Monday night's game at Estadio Azteca marked the fifth and final international game of the NFL season. Of course, the 49ers beat the Cardinals. Mayra Gomez is a bilingual sideline reporter for Thursday Night Football, but she's also the Spanish color analyst for the 49ers, and she joins us now live from Mexico. The atmosphere was at Absolutely crazy. John Sutcliffe started it off. Uh, 49ers uh, quarterback Jimmy G called the atmosphere electric. A little over 78,000 fans. That You've been around NFL stadiums in the States. How different is the vibe down in Mexico? It's very different, Brandon. First of all, thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to be with you. It's so different because you get to have fans from all 32 teams in Estadio Azteca. And Estadio Azteca has so much history. So everybody, I mean, I think Jimmy said it best. It's electrifying to be able to see this over 70,000 fans just cheering and hearing that defensa, defensa. It's an incredible vibe. Very different to what we see in the United States. And different is good because we're hearing reports that the NFL could have a franchise over in London in the upcoming years. You think that the league should consider Mexico City as well? Absolutely. Mexico is just across the border. It's four hours away, five hours away from any teams. I mean, San Francisco makes a longer flight when it goes to Jacksonville than when it came to Mexico City. Mexico City is ready. It's prepared. And I think the NFL should definitely consider having a franchise in somewhere in Mexico, whether it be Mexico City or Monterrey, both great cities that could handle a franchise, in the, an NFL franchise. So the Cardinals and the 49ers have a huge fan base down in Mexico, but let's talk about the players. You work with the 49ers. Have they developed any connections in the country? Many connections. Fred Warner, I think, has had an opportunity to truly connect with his own race, with his own, you know, Mexican heritage. His mother is half Mexican. His grandmother is Mexican. You know, there was a huge um, campaign around Fred Warner. And this has given him the opportunity yesterday, watching him come out with that flag, waving it side to side. It was just incredible. He said he got goosebumps. And I think everybody there had goosebumps. And then, of course, there's George Kittle with the wrestler, Lucha Libre is huge in Mexico, and he made a connection with Apenta, which is a very famous wrestler. He walked in with the mask. So they've made a lot of connections, the players themselves, with a lot, especially the fan base. Real quick, if Mexico City gets a team, what would you name them? What would I name it? Los yeah. Luchadores. The what? <laughs> Los Luchadores. What does that mean? That means the wrestlers. Uh, the Mexico City wrestlers. Why not? I love it. I love it. You need <laughs> to be on that board that makes those decisions. Mara, thank you for joining us. Uh, have a great time. And uh, go Mexico in the World Cup today. Thank you, Brandon. Yes, absolutely. Let's continue to enjoy this Fiesta Mexicana.